Hello and welcome again. We're gonna start with a primer and because we're painting her uh, black and white with few accents of color we're actually gonna start by priming absolutely everything with uh, mechanical standard gray or any gray that you may have in your collection. So basically the body will be black and white and will have accents of color for the lips, the eyes and uh, the nails and the shoes. That's the only thing that's gonna have color. The rest is black and white just like an old movie. So just prime uh, all throughout and uh, obviously let it dry after you give this uh, first pass. Up next using uh, a lighter grey, I'm using uh, grey seals from Citadel. You want to spray it from the top, like where the light would hit, so just uh, keep in mind where the position of her hands, the position of, the, of her face, her legs, and you want uh, in small bursts just to hit the model from the top. So at the moment we're doing the shading, uh, we're doing the highlight, we already have the shading, and uh, that's why the, moment, the model will be over very fast. We're gonna do another pass with a lighter color of uh, of white, but if you prefer, you can just leave it like this. Now very very lightly, with uh, I'm using white scar, so it's a plain white color, I'm doing a little bit more highlight. So just from the top and very lightly, you don't want to go overboard with this one. And you can pretty much leave it like this if you're not confident to the next step. I'm gonna show you though a little bit of how we can do the shading for the rope to give it that translucent effect. You want to use a gray that's a combination between the base and uh, the second layer. And wherever the rope is very close to the skin, like on her arms, on her legs, on her chest, you want to airbrush this uh, this gray and try to uh, to follow the shape of the human body. Yeah? If, so if it's a leg, you want to go in a straight line. If it's the chest, you want to go in a curved line. Wherever you see the, in the sculpture that the robe is very close to the body, just uh, hit it with this uh, medium gray. Now using white, wherever the robe is away from the skin, wherever, or wherever you have uh, raised folds, just uh, hit them with white and blend it lightly with a gray to, to create a uniform look.
Moving on to the trimmings, you want to use the whitest white you have. Ideally, it should be something pearlescent or with a little bit uh, of a metallic in it. Wherever there's a trim, wherever there's a margin of the rope, you just want to, to do it white. And we're going to do that two times. So we do, you do it once, you let it dry, and then we're going to do it again. For the eyes, the process is the same as always. We'll start with lining the eyes with black, but this time around we'll be lining all throughout because she has uh, some makeup on. Try with pencil first if you're not confident in doing the eyeliner directly with, uh, with the paint. Then we're gonna fill in the iris using a darker color. Then we can carve out the pupil using a lighter color and start doing some shading all throughout the perimeter, started, started in some green, because in this movie her eyes are very green, and uh, add some highlights, I tend to prefer them on the bottom right side. The red of the eye, it's the same as always with a red watercolor pencil, and you just start in the tear, dra tear duct and pull the line slightly all throughout the, uh, the waterline, and wipe off the excess with a Q-tip. Now we're gonna move on to the red parts, so we're basically line, lining the lips, the nails and the shoes will make them red. You want to use a bright red um, like the ball red from Citadel, and you want to use a fine brush. Uh, I mentioned this brush before, it's one of my favorites, it's the Citadel Artificer XS. It's um, it's amazing. For the soles of the shoes, we're just going to be using some uh, black, whatever black you have. I'm using Black Legion from Citadel.
For the gun, I'm using Black Templar, which is uh, a dark gray with a bluish tint. It looks good for uh, for weapons generally. And again, the C uh, Citadel Artificial XS brush. For the hair, I'm also using uh, Black Templar, and to do the hairline, uh, I'm using a fine brush, again, the artificial excess from, uh, from Citadel, and for the rest of the hair, I'll just be using a bigger brush. Because it's a contrast pane, you'll get the highlights immediately, so you don't need to do any extra work or getting uh, some additional colors in. And this color also has a little bit of a blue tint, that's why it looks uh, interesting on, let's say, dark hair. And at the very end, after you seal your model, uh, apply gloss um, to the eyes and the lips. I'm using Citadel uh, Technical Art Coat. And that's pretty much it. Again, thank you for watching and happy printing and painting.